Hello everyone, it's Linda from Full Moon Studio um, and today I'm going to be having a go with my wax um, ceiling stamps um, that I got from Craftspire. So I will be putting um, the link to Craftspire down below. Um, I will link the products that I've used and I will also um, put in a voucher code for you for some money off an order. Um, so let's, let's get started. Now, I have tried it out um, and literally this is it. That's all I've done. I've never done this before, but I just thought, well, I better have one go. Um, so I'm quite pleased with it. It's come out reasonably circular. Um, and the only thing is it's a wee bit thin. And I used, um, I used three beads uh, in this one. So I think what we'll do, I'm, I'm going to do now is use, I've got four beads ready to go here. So let's use four wax beads and see what we get. Um, so I'll just light my candle, a little tea light here. I've got my nice little lighter. That's us. So we'll pop the, pop the furnace down there and then just rest the spoon. So I don't know if there's an approved way of doing this or not, but um, this is what I'm going to be doing. So I'll put that up out the way. Should put it there. Um, and let's, let's just get this melting. It's just something I've um, seen, um, you know, and always thought, gosh, they look pretty. Um, I never actually got around to doing, I mean, just when you see, you know, a box of pretty things like that. I mean, we're crafters, we're magpies, aren't we? Um, if it's got pretty colours in it, we want it. Um, so yeah, let's just see what happens now. Um, so the other thing I've got, um, <coughs> borrowed from Mr. Max Garage, is a, a brass, a little brass rod. Um, I think it's welding rod, but I just wanted something metal to stir with. Um, and I wasn't sure quite, quite what to use. And then I remembered these. So I'm going to start stirring this up. I don't think it's quite, quite melted all the way yet. That doesn't look bad. So I'll put my little stick down there and then I'm going to pour this out. And I think the idea is to sort of try and kind of do it like this. So you do get a circle. Um, this is a ceramic tile. You can get really nice um, sort of marble things to do it with. But I've, I've got this ceramic tile and it seems to be OK. Um, and then I'm going to use my I'm going to use my compass stamp. So, whoa, way. Um, so yeah, it's brilliant. Um, happy enough with that. So let's do another one of those. Um, slightly different colour from the one I did earlier. So I love the way you can mix and match the the different waxes to get different colours. So. Um, this is a brilliant tool. It's um, well, it was came with my old Cricut and it was, you know, for lifting the, the paper off the sticky mat. But I've I don't use the Cricut anymore. It's ancient. But that was a great, great tool for doing that. OK, let's do another one. Um, I tell you what I am very interested to see, and that is whether or not, um, you know, what happens if we start really mixing in the colours? Now, so I've got green. Let's put a yellow one in. <laughs> um, you know, this is either going to be lovely or it's going to be truly hideous. Um, but I just kind of wanted to see whether these work together kind of like in the same way that paints would or whether the yellow is just going to get kind of subsumed into the green. I'm looking at, some, looking at the amount here. Having started with four, um, yeah, it's definitely... A more solid seal than the first one so looks like four beads is a good start but I'm thinking with what was left in there well that's really pretty what was left in there um what have I put in an extra one or two I'm not sure um ooh what have we put in well I quite like the yellows let's just see if we can make a kind of a lime green probably not but um, yeah. 
this is like um i don't know sort of recipe um this is like stirring you know when you maybe make a, a cake and you you start with your basic cake mix and then you stir in say chocolate or whatever that's kind of what this reminds me of so yeah oh this i think i think this is going to work i think i'm going to get kind of a limey green from it um so i'm going to use um I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this um, sort of flowery stamp. So off we go. Oh, that looks pretty. Oops. Oh, a little bit... Um, Little bit not quite right there, but a most beautiful, beautiful stamp. Um, lovely. And I just look at the way you can mix the colours. It's brilliant. Um, so what we do, let's let's do this again. Um, oh, I don't know. Let's chuck in some yellow. Do you know, there's no blue in this. That's interesting, isn't it? Um, so we'll chuck in some yellow and we'll chuck in another of these. Um, and I think I am going to have to put a third one in, aren't I? So, oh, let's put another yellowy one in. Why not? Yellow is not my favourite colour, but if I can kind of use it up by mixing it in with the greens and getting limey greens, I'll be happy. So we'll have another go at this and see about um, getting a better seal. Ah, I've just realised something else, of course so stupid if you don't like your wax seal you can just put it back in again can't you so that's what we'll do in a minute we'll we'll remelt that one so that took a while for the penny to drop <laughs> and this is the reason that i really apart from just making that i, I didn't want to practice i really did want to just do it um you know straight off with you so we'll put that there. This is the seal I'm going to use. Let's pour it on. That's better. Yeah. And that's more like it, I think. Mm, still a bit, still a bit not quite right. So I'm going to put that back in there. Yay. I'm going to put that back in there and I'm probably going to put some of this in it as well. Well, you could just play all day, couldn't you? You could just... <laughs> literally play all day melting it and remelting it and yeah i like this i really do like this game i think this is great so let's put it's funny it kind of almost you can almost tear it Let's do that. I've kind of lost count of how many are how many are where now, but um, I mean the thin one. I I am quite happy with that. I am quite happy with that. Um, so we've just got that to reuse. I just love the way the colours keep changing. It's just magic. All right. Let's have another go because this is the most beautiful, beautiful um, seal. It deserves a really decent amount of wax. Yeah, I think that's more like it, don't you? Right, third time lucky. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. All right. Put that one back in. 
I definitely the first ones were better than um, off camera, weren't they? But never mind. Um, it's all a learning curve and it's good fun. So I think I think I'll need to add something into that. It's quite interesting I'm going to try this now because I think I'm going to get this sort of almost metallic look about them. Um, some of them are, um, you know, just like a plain colour and some of them have got a real um, iridescence to them. So, one more of these and then I'm going to change my spoon and change my colours. You know, what's brilliant, isn't it, is if you don't like it and you can just just remelt it so there's absolutely no waste. Right, let's see if we can do better this time. I love the way it just floods out as well. It's just I don't know, magic. That's better. OK, I think that one's a goer. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take that out the way. Um, I don't think it'll harm my mat if I put it down. I'm just um, looking for a scrap of paper. Less about, you know, just to keep it clean. Right. OK, that's good. Put that one there. So I've got another spoon. Um, and let's try some different colours. Ooh. All right. Um, mum, mum, mum. I want to try my um I want to try my Alice in Wonderland stamp. Um, so I think if, if we're doing Alice, um, then I think probably a nice bright red stamp. Um, what we do, two of those, uh, we need, let's do two of those and two of those, see what we get. Um, so I'll need to stir with the other end of my stick, won't I? Okay. Lots to learn. I do like that. And while that's melting, I'm just going to look for something here. I'm just going to look and see if I can put my hand on a wee envelope. Um, Not there. Not there. Oh, all right. I kind of just wanted to see what it would look like if I, um, you know, popped it onto the back of an envelope. Ah, oh, here we go. I knew I had an envelope. There we are. Um, I've got this one as well. So, yeah, this is the one. Right, that's good. So I've got that envelope to play with in a minute. Righty ho, let's have a stir of our our red um, red wax. Ooh, I actually. Now, this is going to give my age away again, isn't it? But I can remember my grandfather, you know, had a stick of red sealing wax in his bureau. Um, and I'm pretty sure I remember seeing him use it. Uh, that's just, you know, by the by. Anyhow, right. So here's Alice. Here's our red wax. Oh. Shouldn't have done that, I don't think. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Oh, there she is. Great. Right, well, I think what I'm going to do now is just turn my little um, furnace off. 
Okay, so we'll just move that off to the side out of our way. Leave that there. Right, okie dokie. So, whoopsie. Um, just in case um, any of you didn't see the original um, video where I unbox this, these um, stamp heads are brass and they come separately from the handle. So you can just take one off and change it over. There we go. So what I do need to find out is um, the best way of cleaning the spoons. I mean, whoops, obviously I will melt off the spare wax and try and keep it. Um, but let's see what we can do with these now. Um, so this one, which I made earlier, I've already got an idea for. Um, can you see I've made a little hole? So let me show you that because I wanted to know if I could make them into like a charm. Um, so I want definitely to use this one. Um, and what I did to start with, I just made a hole with my pokey tool and then I made it bigger with the awl. That seemed to be okay. And it's, it seems to be quite forgiving so you can get away with it. That's what it looks like on the back. So I've got that one uh, and then let's do another one. Let's do this one. Um, let's try with the awl this time because now, of course, we know if we mess it up, we can just remelt. Um, then it's great, isn't it? I'm hoping to go in there, actually, in that thick a bit. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oop. Alrighty-ho. Actually, I'll move it back onto the white because you'll see it better. Okay, so we've got that and we've got that. Righty-ho. Um, so the first thing I've got is um, I've got this little... This little notebook that I made, which I'm wanting to send out in happy mail. Uh, and I thought one of those, I think that one's the best match, don't you? Yeah, we'll go with that one. I thought one of those would look really sweet on it. So um, let me just find a bulb pin. I think it'll go on best with a bulb pin. Um, I've got a green bulb pin there. That'll do. That'll do fine. So let's put that on there like that. Oh yeah, I think that's okay, don't you? Just something a little bit um, different in the way of a charm or whatever. So that is that. Um, and then let me move that out of the way. Um, the other thing I thought of, um, as I say, I wanted to see what this would look like on, on this envelope because um, this was a, just a collage envelope that I made. Um, it was, I think, I think February. Um, I do a challenge in my craft book group every month and I think this was um, the challenge. It was to make an envelope. Um, so I did it like that, but actually it's not really holding very well. I'm just wondering whether it would look better if it actually had something like that on it, just to tuck underneath. Um, and I think it probably would have looked better if I hadn't put that. Um, let's just have a look at this one. I did this one, it's not, not yet decorated. So yeah, let's do this. Oh, that's really nice, isn't it? So I think I'd be inclined to just, I don't know. Yep, I think I'm gonna glue it on but leave enough um, to tuck that under. So let's see if it will work with our glitter glue. Uh, it might not, might have to come up with a different glue, but I'm thinking um, if not art glitter glue, I bet it will go on with Fabri-Tac. Let's see. About there. Just give it a minute before I slide it around. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's on nice and tight, lovely. So, ah, position's rubbish. 
try again. Do you know, actually, Joe, I'm just thinking as well, maybe double sided tape. Um, but yeah, get the idea. I do like that. I do. So that's my little play around with the wax stamps. I think they're absolutely wonderful. And I can see that I'll definitely be buying some more. And there's no doubt I'll be buying more of the bees as well. So thank you all very, very much for watching. Um, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.